And we are back. This is Riverdale Season 4, Episode 6. I'm curious to see what happens this episode. I'm hoping since we're getting closer to the mid-season finale, we're going to continue to get more clues to what actually happens to Jughead. I'm pretty sure everyone knows by now. I feel like it has something to do with this perfect murder thing at Stonewall Prep. I, I mean, I could be wrong. But either way, I think he's faking his death. It's just so predictable at this point. But... If this faking murder thing is all for some school thingy, that's kind of stupid. <laughs> I mean, and I wouldn't put it past where we all pull something like that, so I wouldn't be surprised. <sighs> Other than that, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get a lot of Betty and Charles tonight. I'm hoping we find out more about him. Like, is he telling the truth about the serial killer gene? Is he... I'm, ho I'm hoping we find out exactly, like, whose side he's on. Is he really a good guy, or is he another psycho brother? Because I know Chick is supposed to be back, so we're supposed to get answers from him, so... Ugh, Chick. So, hopefully, things just come together in a good way. What the fuck? What? What, what are you all doing here? Julian needs a body, Cheryl. Ew! Someone it's her! Wait, this is a dream. Oh, thank God, it was just a dream. Penelope's not actually back, thank God. I can't stand that bitch. Oh, God. Ew, I didn't miss him. Hello, Jack. Oh, bitch. And you stabbed the guy to death. How do we know that you're telling the truth? No, we don't. Why would I lie at this point? Because you're a crazy psychopath, that's why. What does Charles say happened? Well, there's one thing we need to do first. Is it burn the doll? We're burning the doll, right? Fact, evil spirits can't cross the circle of salt. It's a barrier against all forms of malevolence. Okay. All done. I'll get dressed and off we go. This is not what I had in mind. There's been an accident at Thistle House. One of the twins, Dagwood, swallowed a ping pong ball and started to choke. What? He's okay, right? To the hospital where Dr. Saperstein performed a tracheotomy. Okay. On Dagwood? You know, he's doing very well, I'm told. Okay. Your grandmother's at the hospital with Juniper waiting for you. I'll get to the hospital post haste, but there's one thing I need to take care of first. That's a bad feeling. <laughs> Damn. Oh, for fuck's sake. Should have burned it all. Of course you'd be here. Oh my god. How dare you go after Dagwood to get to me? He's dead. He's dead. Don't move. Ed. Oh my god, what is the storyline? Cheryl, we let ourselves in. Who the fuck? Look, that's alright. Oh my god, that's me. Are you hiding anything from us? Yes. Tell me what, Charles? I'm a recovering addict. It's in weekly narcotics and anonymous meetings. Okay. Here in Riverdale, they're helping my gym. Charles, I... That's my big secret, Betty. Hope you're satisfied. There's no way. That can't be it. I guess this place can use the help. What's the catch? No, no, we're all good here. Thanks. There's always a catch. It's a blank check, Archie. Some couples, they tie each other up, spice oh. things up. Oh, my God. But you and me, we order his. That's why we keep doing this little dance. Oh my god. You're disgusting. Oh. I need you. I need you by my side. I need you in my bed. No. So say not so I'll start over. We'll always be married. I say fuck we'll you and I hit you in the head with a hammer. And kick your ass out the door. <sighs> Oh my god, gross. Yes, get rid of the doll. Oh, okay. 
I'm not gonna do shit. There. Drowns through it. I just burn it. Mia, can we talk about what this is really about? Your sister. But you don't need to worry. You're still my favorite. The apple Great. in my eye. My special little girl. So rest assured there is no reason for you to be jealous of her. Oh my god. Are you deranged? This literally isn't even about her. I'm not jealous of her. Yes, you are. Oh my god. And it's natural. Can he die, please? You are unbelievable. You said the man was bludgeoned to death in the kitchen. Is she eating me? Yes. Oh. He also claims to know the location of the murder victim's burial site. Oh my god. <laughs> Chick die too. But don't you need to put your mask on first? <laughs> what what, are you, talk, what are you talking about? See, I told you. I told you he's that guy in the mask. The one making trouble for us. Aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. Cops are on their way, asshat. No need for them to come. I've got the confirmation I need. Okay, bye. I'll be seeing you, friend. Where's the point of him? He's annoying. Story written by some bottom feeding dropout in a third grade school. <sighs> so called literary oh magazine. God. The text doesn't lie. I'm not a thief. But your father, the sheriff, he's a thief. Oh, yes. And much, much worse. A vagabond. What is it with you people? You give it an inch, and you want the whole field. For God's sake, do you know who the hell I am? A do you know what the Baxter Brothers franchise means to Stonewall Prep? It built Stonewall Prep. I built Stonewall Prep. The Congratulations. To be set straight. Get out of my sight now, while I am still willing to forget that you had the audacity to summon me. You're very lucky. I don't take you to the headmaster and get you expelled for this vicious and slanderous attack. Now get out. It's so dramatic. Oh my god. You're scaring me. This is the rec center. Mom, not everyone's happy about what we're doing here, and I've made some enemies. Holy shit! This guy's fucking crazy! Can he die too? I'm fucking sick of him. Y'all good? You're good. I'm sorry, Jughead. Then we couldn't help you. Okay. Obviously that asshole dude said or did something that made him want to kill himself. Oh, that means Sam Whitworth's dead. I like Sam Whitworth. This is monstrous. You are going away for a long time. Yo, get your hands off, are you creep? <gasps> oh, this bitch needs to die. Get your hands off my girls. Tony, do something. Yes, Queen. He's tell me he's dead. I'm not going for Oh wait, he's bleeding. He is dead. Even Betty. Even Betty. Oh my God. That's great. So that he is, he still is in cahoots with this bitch. I love you, babe. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh my God. I love you too. Ew! Why, on cricket? I, I might vomit. Feet. That's gross. Holy hell. Is he dead? Yeah. Oh, no, right is that now. Dodger? Oh, but he's not dead, though. 
I will be taking over to Mr. Chipping's seminar this Of night. course you will. I've been told you're the best and the brightest. I look forward to putting that to the test. Lewis. Don't miss a new episode of Nancy Drew coming up next on the CW. Something weird is happening at this school. Something weird always happens at the school. Oh, what the fuck is that? I think you beat my boy into a coma. You were gonna say. Oh, this bitch! Dodger is related to that bitch? Oh my god. Well, that happened. Okay, so Dodger is injured but not dead Ugh. and he's related to that bitch from season two. Oh, god why <sighs> Hiram continues to annoy me mr chipping is dead it's a shame because i like sam whitwer but oh well obviously that asshole had to have said something or did something that i'm so scared he jumped out the window um yeah, the twist with Charles, the end with Chick, I wasn't really surprised. I, even though they, they did the whole, oh, I'm, I'm a recovering addict, so I'm not hiding anything from you. Like, bullshit. I don't buy it. Even if he is a recovering addict, we all, you, come on. It's obvious he was actually hiding something. I mean, part of me was hoping that no, he wasn't, because we already did the whole evil psycho brother with Chick, so I was hoping he would just be normal. But nope. Here we have two psychopaths. In love, which technically I can't really call Charles a psychopath because I mean yeah he's shady but I can't really call him a psychopath because we haven't really seen him be a psychopath but if, if that I guess that kind of confirms that Chick's story was true that Charles killed a dude while high on Jingle Jangle so he pretty much is a psychopath and they're in love gross and it's mainly because I hate Chick I mean, I really hope they're not doing the Psycho Brother thing again. We already did that. Oh, can we not repeat storylines, please? And Shoney's storyline? What the fuck? This is their storyline with the doll is probably the dumbest thing this show has ever done. It's just so pointless and it's stupid. Like, okay, so they're convinced that it's Julian's evil spirit possessing the doll or some shit why and then her more members of her crazy family show up uh, and then tony saves cheryl from the dude which I'm, yeah he's dead because he was his head, his head was bleeding out so he was dead but the storyline itself is just really stupid so I, I wanted them to burn the doll but you know drowning it whatever even though it's probably not gonna do shit As far as this episode goes, it was honestly okay. It wasn't my favorite. It was kind of... It dragged a bit. and It, it just felt kind of... Meh. I mean, I wasn't really interested. Like, the only story in the season that I'm actually kind of interested in is Jughead's. And we didn't really find out much more about that. Other than the whole Jughead's grandfather maybe wrote, or most likely wrote, the first book, which I really don't care about. All I want, the only thing I care about with his storyline is going to find out, is finding out what's going to happen to him. If he really does die or if he's faking his death and why he fakes his death. That's the only thing I really care about in this season right now. Archie's storyline with the, with the community center is fine, but the whole vigilante thing is just weird. And Dodger is just annoying as fuck. It's just, they said this season was supposed to go back to a season one vibe, but I don't feel it. Like, it's nowhere near as bad as season three, I'll give you that right now. Like, season three, especially the first half, was so bad. This isn't terrible, it's just... Okay. Like I said, the only storyline I really care about right now is Jughead. I love I love Betty, but her storyline with Charles, the whole evil psycho brother, we've done it before. It's cliche, so that's why I'm not interested in that. I'm just glad they're not dragging out the Jughead mystery till the season finale. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. That was Riverdale Season 4, Episode 6. Overall, decent episode. Not my favorite, but could have been better. 
So this is episode six. So mid-season finale is episode nine. So we have next week, which judging by the promo, we have some dude in an animal mask. I don't know what the fuck. I'm not even gonna ask. The chick from season two is related to Dodger and wants revenge now. Great. Um, I have no idea what else is gonna happen. I'm hoping we get more fla um, uh, another flash forward next week. Give us more clues to Jughead's disappearance. And then after that, we have two episodes left. And then that's it for the first half. Whatever whatever resolution this storyline comes to, I really hope it's worth it. Because they're making it seem like Jughead might actually be dead. When pretty much everyone knows it's not going to happen. Like, they've done the whole kill off Jughead thing before and it was a fake out. And they're doing it again. So, I mean, killing off Jughead, I admit, would be a bold move, and I might actually commend them for it, because that'd be a bold-ass move. But I, they're, they're not going to do it. They don't have the balls to kill off any of the core four, so... I just hope it's... He, he most likely is faking his death, so whatever the reason, I really hope it's for something... worth the hype, I guess? But this is Riverdale, so I don't fucking know. But anyway, that is it for now. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this episode and what your theories are on for the final three episodes of the first half. And I will see you guys next time.